that was an act of rebellion on my part because I requested 25 plus times to speak to Kamala Harris. Dr. Phil is sharing new insight into his recent speech at a Donald Trump rally. The former talk show host revealed on an Election Day episode of Piers Morgan Uncensored that he had asked to speak for Trump's opponent, Kamala Harris, more than two dozen times before appearing at Trump's Madison Square Garden event instead, which he clarified was not an endorsement for the former president. I knew uh, when I spoke at the uh, Trump rally, that everybody would go, oh, 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 there he is. He's gone political. But... Uh, that was an act of rebellion on my part because I requested 25 plus times to speak to Kamala Harris and um, never got so much as a yes, no, maybe, uh, just uh, wouldn't agree to. I, I, really? An interview. I asked to speak to her. I asked to speak. Maybe Robin and I sit down with she and her husband, uh, asked to have a dinner interview. Harris's team had not publicly responded to Dr. Phil's claims as of November 5th. The TV personality went on to note that he wasn't planning to divulge who he voted for and explained that he doesn't believe celebrities should openly endorse any candidate, confirming that he has no regrets and would have delivered the same speech at a Harris rally. I'm just not here to endorse Donald Trump. I, I do not like celebrity endorsements. We don't know enough about policies and political dynamics to speak intelligently about it. I'm just willing to admit it. Uh, most are not, but I am. Uh, I'm not here to stand up for him. I don't like a lot of what he says or does. Look, I don't, I, I don't um, back off of what I said one iota, not one word anywhere. I, I still say the same thing. Uh, and I would still go to a Harris rally and say exactly the same thing, 100%. In his 17-minute address, he told the crowd that he was there to, quote, stand up for Trump supporters who he believes have been treated unfairly and connected the point back to his own experience on his talk show. You know what happens when somebody in this country says, hey, I'm going to vote Republican, I'm going to vote Don Donald J. Trump. They get canceled, intimidated, marginalized, excluded, or even fired or boycotted. In short, that adds up to being bullied. And now we're talking about something I know a hell of a lot about. Now you're in my wheelhouse, buddy.